What's up guys? The Braves have made an officially official declining Eddie Rosario option, declining Kirby Yates option, declining uh, Colin McHugh's option, declining Brad Hand's option yesterday, um, and the only option we did pick up was Charlie Morton's $20 million option for 2024. And I get the hesitation, but the state of the rotation right now you need a stabilizing force like Charlie Morton. And if he feels like he can still pitch, and yes, it was rocky at points last year for him, but he still had 14 wins, uh, 364 ERA, 183 strikeouts. And for the record, he hasn't gotten a been able to finish um, and go out the way he's wanted to. So hopefully this year he can do that because he deserves that. Um, to be able to finish the way he wants to instead of the injury bug biting him. So I'm going to knock on wood there. But there's too much value in Charlie Morton right now. I know he's 40 years old, but he's still very, very effective. Plus the clubhouse presence, plus the veteran presence that we would not have had we... Uh, decline Charlie's option plus the amazing stuff that he's done in three years with the Braves compiling a 3 oh, 377 ERA um, you take that tw every day and twice on Sunday and he feels like he's still um, getting better at times um, and still developing at 40 years old, which is very odd that he can still uh, provide all that he provides. But the veteran presence um, is much, much needed. And I feel like A.J. smith Schauber and Hudson Waldrop, Hurston Waldrop, excuse me, are going to benefit uh, leaps and bounds like Bryce Elder um, has. But I do definitely definitely agree that there has to be an addition to this rotation whether that be trade or free agency um, because there's so much uncertainty outside of 2024 with the pending free agency free agency of Max Reed with um, Kyle Wright um, dealing with his shoulder injury that'll keep him out for the 2024 season there, you just have to have something um, to supplement um, this rotation because I don't think you can put a price tag on Charlie's veteran and experience and all of that stuff for this year. But not having um, a solidified um, two starters outside of Spencer Strider going into next year that is really, really scary. So I do agree that starting rotation needs to be um, a top priority. And I trust Alex Anthopoulos that that's, that's going to be the case. But who knows? Um, I am really, really thankful and grateful for Eddie Money. Eddie Rosario, his 2021 um, will go in Braves lore. And I wouldn't be surprised after he retires that we have some sort of statue of his reaction after he hit the homer off Walker Buehler in Game 6 and 14 um, hits against the Dodgers. A franchise record for a series. Um, that was... Something that I'll n never forget. I still watch those highlights. Thank you, Eddie. Um, thank you, Kirby. He had a solid year, even though he gave me a lot of heart attacks. And I'm really glad for him to be able to get through the injuries and um, make it back. I know the walks were a bugaboo that he wanted to fix. and But he was a key cog in our bullpen this year and he got the clinching game for the NL East title got that <coughs> got that save uh, with a couple of strikeouts um so that's amazing Colin McHugh 
was Colin McHugh a lot of times. Um, it was really, really bumpy for him um, this year. But it, he was a important, important bridge guy, important in every aspect of what a reliever, <laughs> what a reliever is, and um, thank you for all the memories, all everything you did for the Atlanta Braves organization. You guys are amazing, and maybe we'll get these guys on a. Uh, lesser deal um depending on how free agency shakes out but these guys will be forever in in braves in the great great bank of braves memories that i have i have made and we all have made as a uh fan base and organization and it's going to be really exciting to see how everything shakes out and i'm guessing these guys are going to be um, land right on their feet and do amazing things, but I don't think this Charlie Morton thing can be understated for everything that I've said, but also the value is not terrible. There's never a bad one-year deal, except maybe if you count Cole Hamels, which we gave $18 million for three and two-thirds innings. Um, and the value for Charlie Morton, um, he was 22 last year, it's 20 this year, plus, um, the 15 million coming off the books, if you combine Colin McHugh, Eddie Rosario, and Kirby Yates, um, and with the, all the act, the signings already of Pierce Johnson and Joe Jimenez, um, that kind of made the writing on the wall for those two guys um, pretty clear. But everything that Charlie brings on and off the field, I don't see a problem with this at all. Now it will be a little um, incomplete, uh, shall we say, if we don't add um, to the rotation in some capacity. Because I've already outlined what 2024 um, 2025 could be, um, that, that would be a pile of absolute uncertainty, um, and you can't do that, um, going into that year, but we will see how this offseason plays out, but I'm really excited because I always trust AA has something interesting up his sleeve and something that we're not all thinking, but... Veteran presence, uh, sometimes you can't put a price tag on that. And what Charlie's done over his three-year career with Atlanta, that's unmatched. And I feel like, uh, again, he deserves um, he deserves to get the finish that he wants to. And it was still, even the Rocky at times, which is Rocky for most every starting pitcher in pockets, um... And he's still very effective, um, but he was able to grind everything out, still give us 14 wins, 163 strikeouts, and I think him, the injury bug biting him um, right before the playoffs, both, and even in the playoffs when he broke his leg against um, and still struck out uh, Jose, Jose Altuve, I think that has factored in as well and obviously I don't think Charlie would um be out there if he didn't think he could help this team and veteran presence has to be in your rotation somewhere um no matter what team you are and we know what Charlie brings so I don't have problem with this at all I do see the people that aren't happy about it but um we're probably going to look back at this like we looked back uh, last year when we picked up the $20 million option again. I think we're going to be like, okay, but yeah, that was worth it and we needed it. Um, but if, if let's just say, if Bryce, Yel Bryce Elder starts another playoff game um, and it's not four or five starter or something, 
then I think that's going to be a big issue, but I have no problem with anything that came out today. Um, again, thank you guys, um, all of them, for everything they've done for the Braves organization. Uh, it's kind of unmatched, um, and especially for Eddie Rosario and Colin McHugh, and, but even Kirby Yates, showing that perseverance and getting back from all those injuries, that something um that's an inspiration for every athlete every fan every everybody involved even if you don't like sports that's a really really um huge thing um and also jackson stevens was outrighted to gwinnett um and he has elected free agency um so we will see how everything plays out uh, I'm happy because you've got Max Reed, Spencer Schreider, and Charlie Morton. But I think if you add a Sonny Gray or Eduardo Rodriguez or something to that, then you make Charlie your four or even your five, then it makes it even better. And I think everybody will calm down with the price tag of the $20 million. And that is all my thoughts on that. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, it helps out a lot. Thanks guys, as always, go Braves, champions forever. Welcome back, Charlie, and thanks to uh, those three guys, four guys, that we uh, decided to let um, let their careers continue elsewhere, but man, you did a lot for the Braves organization, and um, that will that will always be a grateful, grateful part of it, but as always, go Braves champions forever.